Well, I, I think the major benefit of the use of Sakai is that it's open source and it's built on, on a framework that's available to everyone. As the cost of programs goes up and as support goes down, we really want to look for open source solutions. And Sakai is the open source solution. I think another thing is that it's reasonably well standardized. We're certainly not the only university that uses Sakai. There are users all over the world. And that's nice because a lot of people are working with it. It's, it's, if I have a course, if I have a course set up in Sakai and I have a friend who's using Sakai, it's pretty easy to transfer things. And that, that can be very, very helpful. Um, I also like philosophically the idea that we're not tied to any particular vendor. I like the idea that we can use a lot of things and that generic products are going to work with Sakai. Um, also, it has the tools you need. It, it tends to be at the cutting edge of educational work. As things become important in education, the Sakai user groups tend to write the software that's needed to support those things. A good example in the medical school is that we're going to the use of very small interactive groups. Blackboard does not support that approach well at all. It may eventually, but it doesn't now. Sakai has wonderful tools that let us split labs into small groups. We can communicate with those small groups, and it's really quite trivial in Sakai. So I think the reason for this is that the people who use Sakai know what cutting edge of education is, and the code is written to support that cutting edge.